everybody. I'm always trying to decide the best place to look. Let's see. Well, I'll stay right here. Okay, so I'm starting my live video. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I am not cooking. We're doing an informational session. So I'm going to wait a few minutes for more people to join. Hey, Violet. Um, and today, I'm going to be talking about all things squashed. So I'm just going to let a few more people. Come here, Presley. Come, baby. I'm going to let a few more people jump on. I'm just giving everyone a warning. We are having some work done on the house and our little puppy, let's see if she'll join me. Okay. Is going a little crazy. So if you hear a puppy barking or a dog barking, here's Miss Presley Rose. So if you hear her barking, yes. If you hear her barking, she's okay. It's just, they're cleaning up the construction. Okay, so when I was planning this segment today, I actually learned something new. Hold on, the lighting's a little bit bad. I'll do this way. I learned something new. So I thought that all squash are gourds, but I learned that squash are not gourds because squash are actually harvested and grown for us to eat. And gourds are actually just harvest and grown or grown and harvest for decoration. So I totally learned something new. I had this whole idea of what I was going to do, like, oh my gourd and something totally corny. But um then I just left that go, but I did learn something new and I love to learn new things. So all of these squash here um, are fantastic for all sorts of recipes. They're all, so I'm getting distracted by the lighting. So let's do this. Okay, so um, I have a lot of good recipes for squash, actually a lot of excellent recipes for squash on my website, which is morethanmeatlessmonday.com. So go there for these recipes and then I'll direct you there at the end as well. But Without further ado, let's get started. So one thing I wanted to tell you guys is um, not all squash are zucchini, but all zucchini are squash. Because I know sometimes when I'm at the grocery store, if I'm checking out and I'm like, where's zucchini? And sometimes it, <laughs> it comes up as yellow squash, sort of like a yam and a sweet potato. Um, so I will be talking right now first about yellow squash. It's high in vitamin, let me move these out of the way. It's high in vitamin A, in vitamin B6, in vitamin C, folate, magnesium, potassium, and you can do so many things with this. You can saute it, you can marinate it, you can grill it, you can dice it and actually make like a fall salsa, which is really good. You can roast it, you can fry it, and you can even fry it in the air fryer. And this is an excellent source of vitamins, like I said. It's low calorie, high in fiber, low in sugar. So this is the yellow zucchini, not to be confused with the green squash. Wait, did I say yellow zucchini? This is actually a yellow squash. Okay, so then we have the uh, green squash or the zucchini. And again, like I said, I don't know how many of you have been at the grocery store and you're checking out and you're looking for zucchini and you're like, I can't find it. So then you, <laughs> then you have to go under squash. So I am going to be posting today one of my best recipes. It's a zucchini meatball. So there's no meat in it. Even the meat lovers love it. It's made with zucchini. And um, also you can spiral zucchini. I don't know if anybody has tried that. If you're just looking for a low calorie option, or if you're on a keto diet, um, zucchini is another excellent way to do it. And I love doing that. We do zucchini spirals. You can do it with a marinara. You can do it with garlic and oil. It could really replace any of the pasta that you want. Again, low in calorie, low in sugar, high in fiber. Next, does anybody know what this is? Feel free to comment if you want, otherwise I'll tell you. I'll give a minute or two. This is an acorn squash. It's also known as a pepper squash, and I have a very good recipe for a salad with this as well, with a roasted acorn squash, and you put it over some arugula with dried cranberries. It's so good, and like a little bit of olive oil and lemon. It is absolutely delicious. So this is the acorn squash. It is, again, rich in antioxidants. It's high, this lighting is really distracting me. <laughs> it's high in vitamin A, low calorie, low sugar. You can roast this, you can marin, um, marin well, you could, slice it, marinate it, you can saute it, you can dice it, fry it in the air fryer. I'm gonna roast it up and put it in that salad that I mentioned. And again, my website is morethanmeatlessmonday.com. So if um, you go there, you'll see the recipe for this. Today I'll be posting the recipe for the zucchini. There's my pup pup. Um, for the zucchini meatballs. And 
Again, if you're just joining, we are having some stuff done to the house and they're cleaning up. So the puppy is an excellent guard dog. So she's just barking and doing her job. Okay, <laughs> even though she's 10 pounds, but still. Okay, so moving on next, does anybody know what this is? What kind of squash? This is a butternut squash, sometimes um, known as a winter squash. It grows on a vine, it's sweet. It's got like a nutty flavor, similar to pumpkin. But the funny thing is I don't like to eat um, pumpkin, like I like to eat pumpkin flavored th things with pureed pumpkin, but um, I, wouldn't, I don't like to eat it like cut up or roasted, but I do love butternut squash. So you should try this. There's so many recipes, so many ways you can prepare it. You can, again, dice it, roast it. I'm gonna be posting some simple recipes. One of the best ways to enjoy this is just roast it with a tiny bit of brown sugar and some olive oil, and it's just delicious. And again, it's low, well, it's low in sugar if you don't add the brown sugar, but so if you're eating it just plain, it's low in sugar, it's low calorie, it's high fiber. Now Presley's going crazy with the ball, but <laughs> so again, this is a butternut squash. It is so good, it's high in potassium. It's excellent in soup, so you can roast it and add a little bit of um, olive oil, a little bit of vegetable broth, and just make a delicious filling and creamy butternut squash soup. But, uh, oh, a lasagna. Believe it or not, you can use, in, in place of the noodles, you can use um, slices of butternut squash. It's so good and it's perfect for the fall. And again, if you're just joining, my website is morethanmeatlessmonday.com. And then finally, I'm not so psyched about like the skin right now on this, but produce, good produce is hard to come by where I live. Surprisingly, I'm not actually that impressed with the produce that's offered in my town. So sometimes I drive a little bit further. Um, today I did not, but this is spaghetti squash and people are often in intimidated by it. And I don't want you guys to be, soon I'll be doing a tutorial on how to um, prepare spaghetti squash. I have an excellent recipe for Spaghetti Squash Primavera on morethanmeatlessmonday.com. So go check that out for sure. Um, but this, like I said, is a spaghetti squash. It's low in calorie. It's high in fiber, higher in fiber than any of the other squash. And you can eat it simply by slicing it, um, roasting it. You can even prepare it in the microwave. That's a very quick way because it does take some time. It's a little labor intensive. Um, but it's an excellent source of vitamin A, potassium, vitamin C. And I actually never had spaghetti squash until about maybe 10 years ago. My mother-in-law introduced me to it and it changed me. I love it. You can eat it in place of pasta. So if you follow um, a diet, if you have celiac disease, if you're gluten-free, if you're low carb, or even if you just want to try a healthier way to eat something more filling, spaghetti squash is the way to go. And it's absolutely delicious. So I'm going to stop talking for a minute and see if anyone has any questions. In the meantime, like I said, you can go to More Than Meatless Monday. You can subscribe there. I send out some newsletters. I don't spam you guys, um, but you'll get newsletters with recipes, some deals, um, updates on any appearances I'm having, and stuff like that. So anybody have any questions? So again, we have spaghetti squash. Again, I don't like the skin, but we're not eating any skin on that, it's fine. We have the butternut squash. We have acorn squash. And I love this. Actually, when you, you'll see, um, I'm gonna share my recipes after on, on this page and then on my Instagram, which is my other Instagram, which is more than meatless Monday. Um, it's absolutely beautiful when you cut it and roast it. It's beautiful, it has like, the ridges on it and it's just a gorgeous salad. Another one. And then we have our yellow squash. And then we have our green squash or the zucchini. So go to your local grocery store. These are all in season right now. Some of them are like, um, sometimes people consider this to be more of a summer produce, but it is still available now. And check it out. Don't be afraid to experiment with different types of produce. If you make any of my recipes, Please tag me, share it with me. I'd love to see your creations. And go to morethanmeatlessmonday.com. Go to my other Instagram. I'm trying to learn TikTok, so check me out there. But um, stay connected with me, guys. And if you have any suggestions or any recipes you want to see, let me know. I'm going to stay on for another minute to see if there's any questions. Where are some of you from? Feel free to post in the this lighting. There we go. The lighting's better. Where are some of you guys from? Anyone? Forever hold your peace. 
Any New Yorkers out there? Miss Cameron, I see you. <laughs> oh, God, I have a filter on. Let's see. Hang on. Let's check out some filter. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Definitely not. I didn't realize. I had a filter on from my last, my live last week. So I go live every Monday, usually at 5.30. Oh, Miss Cameron, you look stunning. <laughs> uh, I go live every Monday. Uh, most of the times I'm cooking. Other times I'm doing a informative little segment like today. Uh, last week I had the Prima Donald on and we had a lot of fun. We baked a healthy eggplant and an Italian chopped salad. And all of my videos are available on my IGTV channel. Next week I'm going to have one of my best friends on. We're doing a vegetarian pasta fazool. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and if you have any questions or any ideas for segments or anything you want me to show you how to cook, let me know. And if you ever want to be involved in one of my live segments, I would love to have some of my viewers on it. So message me um, through Instagram or you can send me an email, jessica at moreandmeatlessmonday.com if you want to appear on a segment or you know someone who might be um, interesting as part of it. Well, I appreciate you guys joining me. I'm going to share some recipes now um, on this Instagram and on the other Instagram. And go to morethanmeatlessmonday.com and enter into the search bar either um, spaghetti squash or zucchini and find some of my recipes and also the acorn squash salad. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have an awesome night.